Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another quick insight and uh, it's a mini tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again today. We're going to be talking about this app called Face Motion 3D. And guys, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. So uh, there's a, I've done a couple of videos about this app. And uh, last time I talked about streaming live facial animation into uh, DAZ Studio. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Blender. Yes, we're going to be, I'm going to be demonstrating how, what the progress has been done so far in showing how it actually, you can stream animation straight from this app into Blender uh, without having to go like export animation, things like that. So this is a straight up, uh, live streaming <laughs> facial animation like what you see me doing right here like what what i'm saying with my mouth and you can sit in that app right there streaming into uh blender and i'm using blender 2.91 okay so up over here is a scene that I, i'm using i'm going i'm using for testing and it, this scene is based on darius 7 uh, from the das 3d marketplace uh, this is a genesis 3 model okay so the plugin itself you can see the add-on i've installed the add-on it's a uh, animation face motion 3d and if i can zoom in a little bit there so you can see it okay and once installed correctly it's gonna show up on a tab here as fashion face motion 3d right and now that it's enabled i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna put in the ip address for the phone and also the ip address for the uh the, my computer so previously this uh, this is the demo that i did uh, showing the streaming directly from the plugin and it has options for uh, other programs but the one that i wanted to highlight uh like i did last time it was a uh, da studio and it streamed straight from the iPhone 10, which you can actually see here, okay? And you can actually see my face talking as I am moving my lips, like that. Okay, and so I'm gonna click on waiting for connection and let's see what happens. And I'm gonna move my hand out of the way so that we can actually see it in motion. Okay. <laughs> guys all right let me look at the camera here so that uh, it's more accurate and you can see the mouth moving with uh, the darius 7 uh, head right there in blender this is blender 2.91 and look at that i can blow i can blink close my eyes and look around i can sneer and you can actually see the wrinkle maps on the forehead right there. Like that. So this is really, really, really good. And if I move back a little bit so you can see both of them in action. So as I am talking, you can see the the face uh, the facial animation on the character i've not enabled the head rotation yet uh, because i wanted to, wanted to focus on the facial animation but that is also working it's part of the uh, the plugin so guys this is exciting to see the articulation seeing the uh <laughs> the head let me move my hand out of the way so that my face is actually facing the camera you can see it there and if I rotate the camera, ba ba black sheep, how is you any <laughs> Yeah, guys, so I wanted to highlight this and uh, share with them, especially with the Blender community, that guys, there's something exciting that is coming up on the horizon where you'll be able to stream animation directly from uh, an iPhone 10. Sorry, I'm talking like, <laughs> because I, you have to do like some kind of, uh, in a way you have to exaggerate a little bit, but you can see, mm, ba, 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 boom, boom, 
this is exciting you know and especially for us as uh, storytellers and uh, indie filmmakers because most people who use a uh, blender are from the indie filmmaking community and storytelling so because it's free it's gonna be awesome to have something that is almost on a pro level to do facial animation guys and to, for us to be able to tell our stories and as always guys the reason i do these demos is so that we as uh, storytellers as indie filmmakers uh, have an uh, get an idea of what's coming up on the horizon and what tools are available that we can use to tell our stories because i mean you know how hard it is to animate faces but i mean for us to be able to simply have an actor when we have a story to tell where a head cam, for example, like a head mounted camera, or even just in front of a, a like an iPhone 10, because right now it's mounted on the desk, as you can see there. And if I move out of the way, you can see the mouth moving. And that data is sent over to uh, Blender using the Blender, the, the face motion app, the face motion 3D app over there. And this is this is very very promising uh, and I'm very proud of the team that is working behind this plugin uh, Kenneth and your team you guys are doing an awesome job and I think as more models support more models are supported from Dial studio because this is a Genesis 3 model so I'm sure they're gonna be able to support Genesis 8 and uh, of course the new the most recent one is uh, genesis 8.1 <laughs> i've seen some amazing updates on that uh, model and so it's gonna be awesome to see it and i'm looking very angry while i'm talking <laughs> it's like i'm not happy at all but this is an exciting day guys it's i'm supposed to be happy and, you know and what's really cool is that on the interface here you can actually see there's an option to make the character angry and sad like perpetually sad and somewhere in the middle maybe neutral but again depending on your facial expression and that is what i'm doing right now so this is exciting this is uh this is supported for da studio for maya uh for unity i am hoping that it will be able to uh, be supported for the unreal engine and 3ds max so that is down the road but guys as i shared before it was i showed that that video of uh streaming st directly uh, streaming live into um Daz studio today i am doing a test to show that you can stream directly into blender live and i'm actually using blender 2.91 from an iphone 10 and this character, I mean, this uh, plugin supports wrinkle maps, like frowning maps, like that. Wrinkle maps on the forehead. It can blow. So it's it's awesome. <laughs> what can I say? It's awesome. And I'm very, very happy. So, guys, that was uh, the highlight for today. And uh, as I continue testing this out, um, I'm continue to share my thoughts and uh uh, as more as this gets closer to being released um I, I i can't wait to point out to link to where they you can find it uh, i think they're going to be able to submit this to the das 3d marketplace so you can actually uh, buy it for that is for das studio right and then you can buy uh, you can buy it on the app store this is for the ios app and then also have the add-on for blender so I'm not sure where that one is going to be, but once uh, I get more details on where he's going to be making it available, I'll share the update. As always, guys, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video and I'm not angry. <laughs> I am actually happy that you're, you guys are supporting me. So thank you so much for your support, guys. I think I need to dial down on the anger on the like the <clears throat> the angriness and uh be more uptight not up so be more uptight no not not uptight but be more happy and positive as always guys dare to dream big don't give up on your dreams and i'm praying for everyone who is going through this uh 
period of the pandemic uh, if you're affected by uh, covid or you any of your relatives i'm praying for you guys as always please stay safe wear a mask we are we're in this together and we need life in order for us to continue dreaming big all right don't give up on your dreams guys stay safe uh, and bye for now